Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're taking a look at Dead Age. This release is on the 7th of September 2018 and priced at £11.99, that's €14.99, €14.99 on the Microsoft Store. You can pre-order it now and if you do you get a 20% discount. Right, this is a first look, so let's jump into it and check it out. Right, so before we start then we've got to choose the occupation of the character before the outbreak. Um, there's four locked ones, so we can only be the student to start us out with. We could name a character as well, we'll just leave it as Jack. We've got upgrades. Um, can we do anything before we start? I need to get medals, okay. Right, so let's get the prologue now. We're going to leave that on for now. Casual mode, hardcore mode, or just play the game. Right, let's have a look. What does that say? Right, yes, yeah, so it's a difference in health on the enemies. And Right, anyways, crack on. So as always guys, on screen text, if you want to pause and read, you're more than welcome to. And let's start with the prologue. So, I've got a new quest, the lost sister, find your lost sister Lily, okay. So a grizzly figure is approaching you, you've seen its kind too often in just the last few hours, it's a rampant chaos of people screaming and climbing over each other, you saw several of them amidst the confusion. Okay, so this is setting us up for what's going to happen, uh, it's coming towards us, right, so what do we do now? Um, what's this? Okay, in this menu, prepare for your combat. First, equip your weapon, a club, inside your arm yourself, and return to fight. So, let's choose the club. Okay. Right, next, we go to this screen. Oh, then we click on attack. Okay. Right, so it looks like a turn-based game then. Melee, attack, the unsteady vagrant. Zombies can be tough. Have you recently experienced this one could severely injure or even kill you? You remember that you have another weapon in your pack. So let's go to the backpack. Let's change up and join combat, sometimes essential for survival. Okay, right. So let's change to the gun. Ammunition. Press B to go back. Right, so equipped a new weapons uses a turn, okay. Found something of use on the defeated creature. An undershirt. Okay, it gives us three percent shield. It's showing us there. Let's take that. All right, so some more coming to attack us. So, open a backpack. Let's equip that. Okay, so we're going to attack these guys, so handgun, attack, and uh, let's go for that one on the left, oh maybe not, we should have shot him in the middle, he's spitting acid, that's not fair, <laughs> oh somebody else has turned up, 
Right, there's some bullet spread on that shotgun. We've now got a shirt. That's, I'm assuming that's two, two damage and 1% shield. Let's take that. So he's carrying on down the bottom there. And he's given us some ammo and a medkit. Thank you very much. Alright. Okay, right. So we need to use... Press the right stick. Yeah, there we go. Item made kit. We can go to gear. You should also reload your weapon. Put on particular field clips so you, you do so with your pistol ammunition. Okay, right, so. We also found a better shirt. Okay, right, so we need to do that. Accept. Okay, so you select the slot and then choose what you want. Okay, that's better. Let's go back to weapons. I've got to attack again, have we? Okay. How do we select the name of the undead now? So, okay, that pops up a uh, thing there. So you can learn about the different enemies as well. Okay. So is there any particular weakness for the nurse? Poison damage he deals, okay, right, let's just shoot her. Attack. The undead nurse. Bye. Take him down now, come on. Finally. When you feel you're growing stronger, this will be a good time to assess your skills. Right, okay, so. Let's go over to combat skills. Right, so let's upgrade. Upgrade what though? Do hang on for now. Accept. Oh, that was pretty easy. Uh, we've also got a uh, new hat. No, oh, you find a crate that it seems to be connected to something inside by a wire of some sort. Try to open or ignore. Let's try to open it. If it kills us, it kills us. Um, let's get the sheriff to do it. Some materials, right? I'll have them. Okay, so it's something like trading with merchants as well. There, right? So, on to the next battle, make it to the camp. We've got a reward of 25 XP there as well. So Trish has a few advanced skills, uh, some, but to use something as strong as a burning volley you need two action points. Uh, action points are generated every round, okay. 
I should point to in the upper left. Right, so let's go. So that's up there. We can see those. Look. Let's go to medic. Combat readiness, Trish. Okay. Sweet. Uh, handgun. Attack. Uh, which one? Yeah, the one on the left. Bye. Right, Trish now is enough. AP, so you can use this skill burning volley now. This powerful range attack can hit multiple targets at once. So assault rifle. Oh, so it just appears on the uh, on the attack meter there. Okay. All enemies. That's pretty cool. Uh oh, my sister's dead. Um, right. Oh, sorry, but all enemies are going to get that. So we've been knocked out there. Right, Trish can ease your pain with the first aid skill. It's going to be used if you have a medical syringe. Okay. So we're going to be showing that next then. So, medic, first aid, jack. So, uh, what should we do now? Assault rifle, I'm going to do a normal attack on, on the sister because you can spray that sort of thing. I'll do. Got some tools, let's take those. Okie dokie, right, so it's auto saves only, manual saving during the day is not possible. Choose your actions wisely. Right, so I'm just going to skip through this on-screen text. Right, so we're getting new quests as well. Okay, so... Do next. Let's have a look. Shop. Jobs. Sorrows can perform job tasks to craft items, hunt for food, or guard against invaders. Okay. Challenges. And look at the cantina. Craft a medkit. Materials twelve. Bandages. Materials 12, bandages 0, so we need to find some bandages. Okay, can we buy some of those from the shop? No. So do we need to go to travel? Yeah. Right, so that goes on to the next. Takes it to the map. Okay, so we've got different ways we can go as well. Alright, okay. Right, we'll just quickly check the languages then. I know a lot of you guys like to see the different languages available, so there you go. Um, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna, pretty much going to wrap the game up there. So yeah, this has been a first look at Dead Age, as we said earlier, and it is available on the 7th of September, so go and check it out if you're interested. I hope this video has given you a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it does, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.